welcome to the Talk of Life Talk Show with Elma. Tonight we have Linda, Hi. Cynthia, and Kimberly, and I'm going to introduce our guests in a few minutes. We thank you for taking the time out to be a part of our show tonight. We always start it off because this is a Christian-based talk show. And my favorite scripture that we use is Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And our motivational saying is, when it comes to the important things in life, promise yourself that you won't settle for second best. Mm. So tonight we're not going to settle for second best. Right, girls? Right. Okay, so we right. have a special guest with us tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. Keisha Bass with us tonight. Keisha, thank, thank you. you so much for coming. You yes, know, I know your yes. schedule is busy. Yes. Right. Probably no, busy and then... I me, don't know, I know but me. mine's is busy. But <laughs> we busy know being an author and a writer and screen yes. uh, person too. And I love that gap girl. Give me five. I love it. 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 I know that's right. Girl, so we're happy that you are on the show with us tonight. Yes. Thank you very and much. Keisha, we want you to know that we're uh, we're just excited. Yes, we about are. About you yes. being an yes. author and you're taking your time out to give us some information on her books. But just to give you a little bit about Keisha, uh, she has a book called, it's called At the Purse Table. Uh, that's, the, that's the screenplay, I'm sorry. Okay, that's your the, screenplay? The book is actually Permanent Resident at the Purse Table. Oh, And then, So okay. for the screenplays, I wrote both screenplays as well, oh. adapted screenplays. And so they, we just took off the Permanent Resident part and cut it short. Okay. So it's at the first table. So what is the same. screenplay? Is that a movie or Yeah, it, what? it's a movie. It's a script. A movie. Okay. Um, so some producers are interested in it. So Whoa. That's why these books actually came yeah. out in wow. 2015. So I finished the scripts then. And so it's just kind of... God's timing. Oh, right. On the table right now. Okay, at the purse so, table yeah, right, right now. At the purse table. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on the but, yeah. table right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. the exact same yeah. thing. That's so it's just, awesome. Yeah. Okay, we, we got a Tyler Perry up here. Or something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> somebody, somebody told me last night I was a female Tyler Perry. See? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See, that's yeah. confirmation. I received it with the That's confirmation right there. And you know, and I like that. I like your personality already, Keisha. I love it. And she says here, she has published two works of women fiction. Her latest novel, that's The Permanent Resident at the Altar. Yeah, that's that, Ooh, that, that would be this one. Back in the okay. day. Okay. That's, uh, and she released that in one of the best month out of the 12 months, October. <laughs> October. That's my birthday month, Keisha. So you already, girl, I tell you. So she released this book in run. October yeah. 2015 by the Urban Books. Yes, by Urban Books. That's a publisher. That's a publisher. It's now been bought by Random House. So oh, they're wow. following Random nice. House. Random wow. House. Yes. Nice. That is nice. All so right, we're Keisha. going to hear elbows. something about yeah, this here. <laughs> And, you know, I didn't get a chance to read all of it, but uh, I know you're going to tell us something. Ooh, I, I mean, just the first little, <laughs> the little first little bit, you know, I said in the Bible, oh, taste and see how good. <laughs> yeah. I tell you on that uh, permanent resident at the purse house, uh, table, first the thing you think about purse, I'm thinking about money, what's in the purse. Yeah. Because, yeah. see, on the book, you all, it, it shows a yeah. purse. Yes. Wow. It shows a purse. Yes. And it make you think of money. Right. Mm -hmm. What's in the purse, like okay? So oh, wait a minute, look like when a Michael I, When Cole. I first read this <laughs> first little thing, it says, <laughs> if you are size six, you dance. If you are Ava Alexander, you watch the purses while your girlfriend dances. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. You want to tell us who Ava Alexander is. Each man that passes her by takes a little of her self-esteem. Wow. After escaping a mentally abusive relationship, she promised God she will wait on him to bring her the right man. Wow. Ooh, so look, we're going to yeah, talk yeah, about right. the yeah. permanent resident at the purse table. So tell us a little bit about that. Don't y'all want to know? Yeah. yeah. Don't y'all want to know? Yeah. Let me hear you say, y'all want to know? I want to know. Okay. Okay. So well, good, because I want to tell it. You okay, we're going to tell it. Let me tell it. <laughs> Go tell it on the well, mountain. <laughs> Go tell it. <laughs> well, this is the thing. that That's what the title is. very funny when you think of the other purses. I asked a man one time, I said, what do you think that means? He's like, you talking about the purse table at the department store or whatever? <laughs> like no not really but uh kind of when you're more quote unquote 
more attractive girlfriends and you go out uh -huh. and they're being asked to dance and then mm. you're sitting there watching their purses while they're I could also switch out purse and put the drink table just anything you know okay. you're the one okay. sitting there kind of oh. a wallflower yes. okay yeah so it's basically her Ava's main story um, she has a lot of insecurities so okay. um, and the, she has one best friend who's a lawyer and then the other best friend is a model and so you can but, but, but what is what is Ava then? Ava, she's actually a probation officer, but she wants to be a caterer. Like she does, she's oh. she's a juvenile probation officer, oh. but she wants okay. to one day have her own restaurant. Uh, okay, own restaurant. And so she's doing that on the side. Going from yeah. a probation officer mm -hmm. to a caterer, she cooks and does all the stuff on the side for every. Sound like Miss Huff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so she allows her insecurities, and that's. It says it on there that she, you know, I don't want to tell it without telling in case people want to read it, but she actually ends up sleeping with her best friend's fiance. And that's where all the Ooh. drama goes. We just got through doing a topic on cheating. Okay, on cheating, on cheating with the best friend. Okay, the best friend, which one was the model or the attorney? The, the lawyer, the attorney. Ooh. Oh, yeah. my Lord, the wrong one. The wrong one. The, 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 the wrong one. Wrong. She wrong. messing with the she, lawyer? No, they're yes. fiancé, so they're oh, getting married like in, okay. in about a month or two. They're supposed to be, Ooh. supposed to be getting married. Wow. So... But yeah. well, and so they are food. best friends. And they are best friends. Yeah, and she friends. messing with the best friend. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it kind of builds up because like yeah. she lets because she has a um, what is a opinionated mother who's on her all the time. Okay. Oh, okay and okay. then the mentally abusive relationship comes from her ex that she finally got rid of, but okay. he would put her down for her weight. So all this kind of comes oh. to head at one night, mm -hmm. and then uh, her best friend who Renee is into it with the fiance, so he comes looking for, her, and you know how. That okay. Goes. So, and so you know how that can go. Nah. <laughs> he was looking for Alexander. Uh, well, he was looking for Renee because they were in a fight. So he was looking for Renee at Ava's house. Oh, okay. But he, he stopped at his... Ava's house and got Ava. Right. Instead of Renee. Were they drinking or anything? She was drinking. Was she house sitting? Oh. She, she was. <laughs> <laughs> she's always waiting. No, 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 was she no, no. house She's always <laughs> keep she, she's in her apartment, girl. She's Wait, like I said, she had the boy, the ex-boyfriend cat comes by earlier that day. Pissed off. Mm, pissed off. The Piss mama Ava gets her. Off. This, this is Ava off. Okay. Ava's in the tub trying to relax with her wine. That's when mama calls and basically tells her, well, you have such a pretty face if you lose weight. Oh, you my You get Lord. your old man. So then I she throws the phone that. Well. So she's steady drinking. <laughs> and then he comes wow. over. Wow. And he sees that she's that way and takes advantage of her. Yeah, it would mess with your emotion. It truly mm -hmm. does. You know, you really, you really have to think hard on that, you know, because... Right. Uh, I, I've been told you have a beautiful face. Mm -hmm. You just need to lose some Same weight. Here. You know, mm -hmm. so, but that does, that mess with your energy, and, mm -hmm. and you don't want to, you know, be introduced to anyone because you're thinking, okay, what are they thinking when are they looking at me? Right, right. You know, right. so. So you, you was, you were saying that, was this a man told you that, that you had a pretty face, but your body was too I big? I have heard it from males as well as females. Yeah, oh, okay. I did. I did. But yeah. have you ever out. had it from a man that you was, Dating though, yeah, told you that you was pretty, but you was too fat. Yeah, that I was. Your body was that too I big was, for the beauty. I was thick. <laughs> I was thick, <laughs> thick. You know, oh, thick. So they didn't say. Oh, they they said don't say thick. fat. They say you, uh, you really thick. You know, but you got a lot of men that like thick women. Though. Yeah, I haven't yeah, found that. Yeah, there somewhere. But you just have people that want to put you down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can be thin because I used to get that. It was always something wrong. Right. Either your nose, your lips, your hips. Now all that's in. Yeah. Now yeah. all that's in. My that's nose, all that. my lips, The skinny my woman is in. out now. She gone. Yeah. But even, I, I dealt with that a lot. Yeah. And what's so interesting is that because we're, I want to say isolated, that's probably not the right word, instead of coming together and realizing that people are, Satan is putting yeah. in a little bit of everybody, we come together, we realize, wait a minute, we all have the same thing here. Okay, we can defeat this. Right. Mm -hmm. If I talked to the young girl across the street who somebody was criticizing her, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have felt like it was just me. Okay. And I would have been able to get out of it earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can't be a um, a flag girl. I want to be flag girl or the major red. Well, your legs are ugly. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I Tell used me, to I be a size that. seven and nine. Mm -hmm. Then when I got pregnant, I became a 16, 18. You kept traveling. Oh, are you, up, you, you going to tell her what you know? Uh, 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 no, we can't disclose no. that. We can't disclose that. We have to die. Interview over. I'm out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling that information. It's over with. Uh, but, but I think that's an interesting title because that, that experience, I've, 
I've usually been the woman to leave the purse with the friend, you know, at the, you know, when well, I was right, out there like that. We, I we was holding your bag. Purse. But she would be like, <laughs> you know, she she was to me, she just wanted to be out, so she was happy to be mm-hmm. out, you know. Right. And then usually the people I was dancing with wasn't worth two pennies anyway. Right, right. You know, I it oh, was just okay. it was just fun for the for the night, but that the, those relationships never went nowhere. So I would share with her later, hey girl, you ain't missing out on nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You ain't missing out yeah, on I was nothing. always the purse holder. Well, when I, I never, was younger. I never <laughs> you ain't missing out on nothing. The purse. How did you come up with the name permanent resident <laughs> at the purse table? Because I mean looking at that, would you thought that uh-huh. it would it's be a self esteem? No. I mean <laughs> you know you really? pick up a book, you wouldn't think that I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> yes, money. Right. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't think it was that. Yeah, I, I would have thought it was that. You, you no, really ma'am. No, ma'am. Think. You do me. Yeah. You know what? The Lord is making this thing because that's uh, really, I. the first thing I saw about this book uh-huh. was the first scene in which she's getting rid of Xavier, getting, uh-huh. she's throwing all, or pushing his stuff out into the lake or considering <laughs> all his items and getting rid of his stuff. Uh-huh. And then I, ju- I just saw that. And then I thought, hmm, what am- I don't know. I heard purse table and then permanent residence. She can't get up from there. Permanent resident, and that's just how it came to be. So, but that's good because women can relate to that. Because it's always that one person that's holding mm-hmm. the purse holding when we go down. somewhere. Yeah. We're holding yeah. the purses when we go uh-huh. somewhere. Okay, girl, you stay here. If we're shopping, it's always that one person here. You stay here. You watch all the bags, or you stay or here. Watch your drinks. Uh huh. You know, you know like yeah. Yeah. that could have been permanent resident at the drink table. Yeah, but that's good. The or, purse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or when you come home, you always put your purse on the table. table. Yeah, that's good. That's true. So it's permanent there until you get ready to move it. And yeah, then when you come good. back home, you put it back right there at that same. That's that space for that's your, your spot. Yeah, that's your good spot. Kids. Wow. That's but I never money. would have thought that it would have been talking about a person, yeah. Thank uh, you so much. personality, her right. self esteem right being permanent. Left right there. Right. So, is a, yeah, is, right. is, a, is, yeah, is her self esteem being a permanent theme for right now or? For right now at the beginning. Okay, at the as beginning. As things go through and, uh-huh. and uh, all the situations take place, she ends up getting with a Christian counselor and of course that helps and um, getting into scriptures and right. putting the scriptures all over right. the wall and different things, just different uh, uh, collection of stuff, trying mm-hmm. to right. treat herself better as well. Right. Yep. So right. were her friends, a com- what do you call it? Were her friends um, acclimating her or were they pushing what? her down? Pulling no, her they, they acclimate. They, t- they, yeah. you know, really encourage her and oh girl, you know, and like they, <laughs> when it's funny, you're talking about sizes and then you go, well, one of the lines <laughs> in there, I got this from a Roger group. <laughs> like, the uh, Renee goes, we need to go into five, seven, nine. And she's like, girl, I can't wear five, seven or nine. I'm more like five plus seven plus nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so oh, she's right. like, oh girl, you so silly. Just, you know, just kind of right. laugh it off. So right. they just kind of laugh it off. They don't mm-hmm. really, um, but I, at one point she calls them skinny winches. I think when she's in the, <laughs> in the uh, <laughs> dressing room because she brings her something with horizontal stripes. Oh, so okay. She's like, she'll like, never understand. But they don't ever really necessarily talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, oh, okay. Support, support it either way. Okay. But you, you got on here. Uh, how did you come up with Ava? Is that somebody that um, you know or this just a... Is this a name? And then shout out to my daddy. My daddy's name is Arthur. And so we call him Art. Okay. So I wanted three names that went Ava, Renee, and Tony. Okay. So oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm deep with it. I guess I don't know. And then Ishmael, Ishmael, you know, I got that out the Bible. I had okay. to ask oh, my, yeah. yeah, my brother-in-law, give me uh, somebody, <laughs> uh, a name that, that kind of had some negative. fiance's some some, name. Yeah, so that's the fiance's name. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I came up with that one. Learned that was Bible good. Stories. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Okay. <laughs> His name then, is uh, Ishmael. <laughs> really? Betrayal. <laughs> betrayal Ishmael. Ishmael. Betrayal. betrayal. There you go. <laughs> and oh then Dr. God. Glory Moses with that name. I just, uh, I felt, you know, like you have Moses. Yeah. Who, uh, had the speaking issue, but he right. also helped. Uh, well, she's able to help others, but she has issues in her own life. Oh, okay. So yeah. coming soon, we'll have the, the a story about her will be the third one. I'm not sure if I'm wow. straight to script or just a book. I'm not sure, but mm-hmm. yeah. So can she's, we, oh, go ahead. Can we ask? Did they break up? I mean, I, this is. I'm gonna read. Let me read this. Oh, okay. Part. Okay. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Bring, bring it. Bring come to the intro. Go. We can mm-hmm. read the intro, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. that's on the we're back. Of everybody, because yeah. I want y'all to see this. Okay. Permanent. I want to read the whole book. I know this is interesting because she says here. Okay, each man that passes her by takes a little of her self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Was she dating mm-hmm. these men to 
on what? You yeah, said the, pastor the, the, about well, passing by sitting at the table there, right there. Uh, that, well, uh, that they part. didn't mm-hmm. give her no attention. Yeah, not even looking her way. Didn't so. even look her way. So wow. she's sitting there looking at the mm-hmm. the men, and they didn't even look at her. Right, which is an uh, interesting wow. thing. My aunt, my aunt once said to me, she's like, she's giving her them that though. Exactly. You know, she's, she's allowing them to herself. take it. So I remember instead of her <laughs> saying, "Go on by," who cares? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's allowing them to take it because she so wants them to take a okay. self esteem. So she, so oh, you're man. saying that Ava is a size six, or mm-hmm. what? No, what? she's she's probably up in the twenties, twenty two. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. Each man saying. that passes her by takes a little of her self esteem. Hmm. After escaping now a mental abusive relationship. She promised God she would wait on him to bring her the right man. So even though she was thick, thick, she still was in a relationship right. with this man. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So this man had to like something about Ava. Yeah, well, yeah, he what was his name? He he's Xavier. Oh, I Xavier was Xavier. Xavier. No, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> 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 we gonna go with Samoa. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> this is Xavier, and there's no meaning behind that one except I, I just like the name Xavier. Uh. But he would put her down, and <laughs> they wouldn't really go out a lot. Okay. Uh, he wouldn't. Do you think he was shame of her size? Yes, he was, and he okay. when they would get into arguments, and you get a little bit of that when he mm-hmm. comes back that that day when she's about to do the do. Mm-hmm. Um, he comes back and he puts her down. And basically, okay. you know, you two tons. So how long were they together? Did they put they that in the about book? a year? So about a year. Yeah. Was he dating on the side besides mm-hmm. her? He had phone numbers oh, and okay. different mm-hmm. things. Finding kind of old school. One of the friends makes a joke about that. You know, they have cell phone because she's still finding numbers in the pocket. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, so he was cheating and putting it down. Wow. Go ahead so did, did you did you uh, talk about why they was attracted to each other at first? Um, for him to come into her life? No, because she's like at the beginning, remember they're ending that one. Okay. She had gotten rid of him. So he okay. really only So you really didn't even talk about scene. too much, Xavier, that she was just right. putting him to the side, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she escaped this mental abusive uh, relationship. You all that have experienced a mental abusive mm-hmm. relationship with a person that put you down and talk, y'all need to read this book. Okay, it's mm-hmm. called Permanent Resident at the Purse Table because you'll probably get some information that right. you have experienced mm-hmm. from being that down and talked about in a relationship because, you know, that is detrimental to a person. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that you can, you know, when you start dealing with people's self esteem, mm-hmm. that brings in suicidal thoughts. Yes, depression. That brings in killing that person. Because you can only take so much of it. Mm-hmm. And and all of these things come right. in right. with your low self-esteem because you don't feel good about yourself. But you don't want to talk about it because people would think, oh, you're trying to feel she, you know, she just want pity you're or, pity you know, she on a pity party or mm-hmm. she just talking out of the side of her neck, you know, things or, like that. Yeah, or when you try to address the issue and you really want to talk, because I, I was trying to talk to someone and. I was really serious about what I was talking about, although I was calm. And the person said, okay, Kimberly, it's freedom of speech, whatever. What do you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kim is so Jamaican. She can, girl, I'm going to put you, you didn't put her in your movie. I tell <laughs> you. <laughs> you didn't know she you see how she now? changed all of that? Yeah. I, I like that dramatic uh, accent. So when people respond to you, when you're really being serious and you want to just talk about something that bothered you, yeah. they just kind of like, okay. They just blow it off. Yes. yes. But but you yes. need to listen to those type people, though, when they yes, come you to do. you. Because you don't never know if they're thinking suicidal thoughts, though. Right. So, right. you know, and, and, and uh, when people come to me, uh, Linda and I both, and you went to the counseling, too, biblical counseling. Yes, we got our certificates in that. Mm-hmm. And when you're counseling people, you have to really listen to them. Yeah. Yes. You have to listen because you never know what they're experiencing. And sometimes you might have to double listen because, like right. you said, Kimberly, they, they'll say these things like, okay. And then sometimes they don't want you to really know. Right. That's true. They don't want you to really it know. So they pretend it. that it's okay. No, it's, it's okay. not okay. No, right. The only way you can do that. And uh, in here, she said, after escaping, they mentally... It wasn't a physical abuse, mental abuse. Did you think that's worse? Yes, it is. Than physical abuse? It is. About the same. Yes, that's a long haul. Yeah, because you, you remember yeah. all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. You yeah. Mental yeah. abuse is, is, is scary. Kids. Yeah. 
First thing I think about the burning bed. <laughs> you remember that boo? That, that burning bed, that mental abuse. Make you want to kill yourself. Uh, shoot, tell me about it. You know, <laughs> you yeah, <laughs> that mental abuse. But at least she said in here that she escaped after escaping a mental abuse, a relationship. She promised God, so that let you know she had God in her life. Right. So is this a Christian type? Yes, I would okay. say um, it was edgy. Christian fiction is what I was yeah, told. Okay. I like that. Because when I, I was first edgy. trying to shop it out, uh -huh. it was kind of too Christian for mm. the secular. Okay, good. And okay. Then it was too secular for, for Christian the Christians. So you you were in between. In there, right. So I didn't know where I fit. Well, yeah. But now, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just perfect life. It's because just we are edgy. It's, it's, it's that's edgy. right. It's, it's, On it's, both it's, sides, it's, whether you're in the world or Christian, we are edgy. We're doing the same thing. We're not hiding it anymore. That's in the, yeah. Right. We commit suicide just like anybody else. People, you know, we, we go through depression, but we we don't want to talk about it because we think we're so strong. No, we do need to talk about it. I'm glad you brought that out. But right. she promised God she will wait on him to bring her the right man. And I think a lot of women need to do that. Wait. Wait. Mm. London, mm. wait. Mm. London, Easier wait. Said. I know, yeah, I know. But I, got I, you know. I know. I know you get tempted. And you got the fan in the water. Cold shower. I'm with you, Linda. I'm with you, Linda. I got you. you got, I got go you. take that shower. Go take that shower. I understand, Linda. I understand. But I'm, I'm going to make sure we're going to get this book for Linda so she can wait. For real. Wait. Okay. Keep me from getting more copies. But I wish I would have could have brought y'all some. But I'm going to. Okay, okay. we're well, talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we, hey, we, time, I really want. To, we gonna hook up again, yeah. okay? Okay, definitely. That we'll do that because this is interesting. And I love really reading good. books, and I tell out. you, from Kim bringing all these authors on, I have a library. <laughs> I tell you, and I go back and read those books again. Mm -hmm. I done marked them up and everything. So, <laughs> hey, because you you can learn a lot from yes, other people's experiences. Yeah. You know, and because this is even so talking good. about the title, I remember myself. You know, my mind went all the way back twenty years when I was in my twenties, and I was always the one. Well, that was at the only table. yesterday. I know, right? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, girl, I was only <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, when we go out, I was always the one holding everything for everybody. Uh huh. Really? Yes, always. I can't see you. I, doing I, it, I, I was just thinking that when she said it earlier. Mm -mm. Chicken woman. Mm -mm. You know. Oh, here, hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. And you actually were sitting at the table. Okay. And I was just like, oh my gosh. That was me. Was oh my girl? gosh, holding it. Well, I can truly say I never that held table. anything for anybody. Holding the bag. Because I get up on I get on the dance floor. If nobody asks mm. me to dance, hell, I get up on there and just yeah. dance and hell. And probably oh, have a purse on her shoulder yeah. dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you, you drinking your hand? And that that's where she's headed. Right. To, so you don't that need is all that. So all good. That is so good. When we when we get there, we'll uh, read the inscription. And she says, in and she means it until Ishmael comes in the picture. Oh, Ishmael. <laughs> when her best friend, <coughs> when her best friend, fiance, throws a few compliments her way. They always know what to say. They always know what they to know say, what to don't say. they, Cynthia? Yeah, they, she travels down the path of betrayal. Wow. One sin leads to another sin. Yeah. And then Ava Choi strains her friendship and sends her into a depression. Right. Wow. So, okay, who is Ishmael? Okay, Ishmael is Renee's fiance, her fiance. best friend's fiance okay. that she ends up sleeping with. Yeah. So now was she still 20 in her size 20 mm -hmm. or 22? Mm -hmm. and, and so Ishmael was liking her. Ishmael signs. knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Look how she said Ishmael knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Oh, Ishmael knew what he was doing. 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 Because he sees her at the mall earlier and uh -huh. he's trying to make up with Renee. But did he know he knew that that was Renee's friend, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're like close and uh he just took advantage of the situation and what is Renee thin? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's little. Remember, yeah, she says my, those skinny winches. <laughs> oh, she called her skinny winches. <laughs> skinny yeah, winches. Yeah, skinny they winches. Oh, wow. <laughs> so she's a lawyer and a high powered attorney. High powered attorney. Yeah. Doing her now, thing. No, Renee is the high powered attorney. Yeah. Who's the high powered attorney? Renee. Renee. Okay, her friend mm -hmm. Renee is a high powered attorney. Mm -hmm. And Ishmael is Renee's fiance. I mean, what is Ishmael, though? I mean, is, is he, he a attorney? What, he's, he's a club he promoter. He's a janitor guy. Renee likes bad boys. So he's a club mode. He's out there doing his thing, getting it in. So, all right, and she all right. Okay. So we're going to have words. a talk show on that with the bad boy. Why the girls like the bad boy? Yes, oh, that's good. That's good. Wow. So he like a gigolo. 
Pretty much, but he and he has their whole issue with that stems from is he has issues with baby mama drama. Oh, so he I mean, ends up getting caught. He has one baby mama, but he ends up getting caught being in her house when he's supposed to, and then that's why they get in this argument. Oh, Renee saying. and Ishmael get into the argument. Oh, he gets oh, her Lord. car towed from the lady's house. So, oh Lord! So it's just this, in this book is this now. book is hot, y'all. I tell you, <laughs> woo wee! Thank this you is, for saying that. I can tell you, this is a good one here. Women love you. Got the love. best friend yeah. messing around with each other. You got Ishmael throwing our compliment. Somebody gonna get hurt <laughs> up in here. Somebody <laughs> finna get hurt. I ain't saying hurt. Hurt <laughs> up in here. Let me. Can Man. I ask a question? Yes. Are they white, black, Hispanic? These are black people. They're all black. I can okay. tell you. That. Yeah, okay. somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody gonna get killed. I, 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 I wouldn't even ask that question if they were white or these are black people. Okay? But I do want to make sure I get, I want to include everybody in my story. So I'm heading that way. And um, so I do have a, one of the best friends of her brother is Hispanic. So I'm supposed to be trying to get my, you is know, that in diverse, this book? This be more diversity. Yeah. Okay, so this not in this one. No, not in this These one. These are all black. Yeah, everybody okay. in here is So okay. Did, okay. is it wrong to ask if it destroyed the friendship or are you still reading the... the I'm, I'm just the, reading this part right here. I can't get past the Well, what did it say? <laughs> I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still trying questions. to digest <laughs> this here part. Okay, so we, we just found out that Renee... And Ishmael had an argument, mm -hmm. and Ishmael was a. Uh, I'm trying to really make y'all read this book, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that. so Ishmael is. Did saying, he go to the mall? Did Ishmael go to the mall? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he saw. Ava. I did not yeah. say anything about no mom. That was no mom. said mom. that about the mom. I didn't really say anything about, 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 about his mom. See, now you you go really make them want to read because I'm just getting to the point where the no, friend I'm, finance fiance was betrayed. Now she's so excited that Ishmael is saying, "Oh, you look so good." Yeah, but did he say that at the mall? I ain't said nothing about no mom. At the but mall, he gave a little compliment. He gave her a compliment. He gave a compliment at the mall. Okay, gave her a hug. And, oh, and you yeah, can imagine how he hugged I bet he did. Mm -hmm. I bet enjoyed he the did. cologne oh, and all. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet he was smelling good. Because she never had nobody hugging like that. he was smelling good, right, too. Right. Yeah, he was, he was, he was smelling like good. And she probably was on his shoulder like this. He was smelling good but and see, well groomed. You can trust her with the bag, just not with your man. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, say that again, <laughs> Kim. <laughs> what did you say, Kim? What? I'm using that. Go ahead. <laughs> you can trust her with the bag. You can trust your girlfriend with your bag, you but not first. your man. But not your man. But no. Mm -hmm. But can you trust your girl with the permanent resident? At the first table. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll keep your money. <laughs> but she don't use she 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 your man for the purpose she's he trying was to created. get a permanent man, hell, baby. She's trying to get the permanent man. She ain't trying to get the purse. She's trying to get the permanent man. That's the purse wow. there. And then we yeah. try to get the man. Here's the altar. Here's the altar. Oh, that's where oh, we're that's that's, part that's, two? Yeah, that's okay, part two. We're trying oh, to get okay. married. Okay, so what? this is here. Say, Ava <laughs> seeks spiritual guidance. Praise Lord that Ava seeks or spiritual guidance. Praise Lord now. Praise the Lord, Ava. You seek your spiritual guidance from the from, look who she's seeking from. Dr. Glory, hallelujah, Moses. <laughs> then she said, glory, hallelujah, Moses. <laughs> All right, Moses, did he hold up? <laughs> <laughs> now, is Dr. Glory Moses a woman or a man? Woman. Okay, so, okay, I can't go to the Ten Commandments <laughs> on this one. Okay, so, uh, through, the, through, through the God's words, there is a glimpse of hope for a restored friendship. Mm. And a newfound love for the woman she is. In addition, a man she meets at the counseling center. So you was probably, you know, introducing her to the man, Cynthia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the counseling center, offer her a glimpse of what could be if she lines up with God's. Wow. Woo, if she lines mm. up with God's will for her life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of counselor was he? Did he look good too? <laughs> he's a drug counselor and they meet each other so oh he was him. a drug oh, she, yeah, oh you meet how him. much did he weigh and I thought <laughs> was he's, he's, I, I, I imagine him about 6'2 
Oh, that's yeah, about, 250. About, okay, we can go 250. Ooh, dark skin. Mm-hmm. Linda oh, describing her man. <laughs> she wants to go to the council and sell her She wants to go to the council so she can see that you got to put Linda in the book <laughs> now. <laughs> We're going to change the name for Ava to Linda. <laughs> you want to know exactly where it is. She <laughs> want to know where she can lay hands for on real. it. <laughs> okay, so will Ava be able to overcome her insecurities and step into the life God's plans for her, or will she continue mm. to self-destruct? Wow. That's oh, wow. Man. You all going to have wow. to read to find <laughs> the answer so to wow. them. Wow. That's so good. Man. This is. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear the question? That's Don't that straight. make you want to read this book? Yes. So you got to read the book to find out the answer. She said, will Ava be able to overcome her insecurities and step into the life God plans for her, or will she continue to self? Destruct. Not with that six two. Uh-uh. I know that's right. Inquiry minds want to know. know so right. how do we get the answer? Where can we find the book? Uh, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. There, where I, I checked on Amazon to see how much, because like I say, that came out 2014, 2015. Oh, but they're on there, and you can probably get new, used, all of them, Kindle, all of them, everywhere. You all still, I don't That's care awesome. if it did come out in 2015, 2016. It's or out. It's, it's out. out. This is 2010. It is out. You need to and read need this it. book because we need to find out what happened to Ava. Okay? <laughs> this is awesome. It's called The Permanent have Resident. have a book review on it. Yes, we're going to yes. have to come back and have a book review so y'all can answer that question, okay? Right. Uh, permanent Resident at the first table. You can find this book on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I don't care. Please. Put at the bottom of the screen that you're going to answer that question. Will Ava be able to overcome her insecurity and step into the life God plans for her or will she continue to self-destruct? All right. Give it up for the permanent resident at the first table. Okay. Now. What? uh, I had a question. How, How did you. Did you have that written like in a journal years before? Or you just sat down and said, let me just put this together right here. Ding, 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 ding. It's funny you ask that. I actually wrote this story before I was saved. And it was called The Good Stuff. Ooh. And it was a whole lot rougher. <laughs> now, oh, so you, so you you took out all the other stuff. We want to know the good, we the, know the good, the good stuff. stuff. Well, it had the same characters. Uh-huh. I took the cussing out. I took okay. the explicit stuff. Oh, I, I want to read that. I want to read that. We want to read that. Oh, yeah, read that. Oh, see, I ain't been saved all my life, but I'm saved now. We so, Tata, we have to go back and see how I was saying. I was a good cursor. Yeah, But the plot twist is better in this one, I think, too. And then this is just. Okay, do you have a rough draft of the first I do. Yeah, yeah. See, London's all in there first. Yeah. Stuff, I'm in there too. I'm in there too. We can do the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, we we yeah. all the good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Inquiring minds want about the good yeah. stuff. Yeah, we all the good stuff it. up here. Yeah. Yeah. We turned the bad into the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, <laughs> now we're moving to part two of the book. So see, once you finish answering, hey, Linda's still laughing about the bad and the good. Y'all remember that movie, The Good, bad, the Bad, the bad and the Ugly? ugly. Yeah. All right, now we're going to have to do a talk show on yes, that one. the good stuff. Okay, so once we answered the question in part one of the permanent resident at the purse table, right. then Keisha comes out with another exciting book. Yeah. Called the permanent resident at the altar. Oh Lord, now nah. now nah, I feel bad because she done took me to the altar. I know, I know. Oh like, Lord, she done took on? me to the altar. <laughs> now I gotta repent. Lord, forgive me in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes. She done made me go to the altar. Okay, now, okay, let me get my little thing here. So, okay, all right. Now, <laughs> this is part two. If Ava has to wear her fake smile one more time. Ooh. While standing in a wedding party, oh. she might come unglued. Oh. <laughs> she and her boyfriend, Kevin. Is that the boyfriend? Yeah, I, I hate that that tells it. But yeah. Counsel, okay. Kevin's the counselor. Okay, Kevin is oh. the counselor that London won't. Yeah, six two. He's a six feet six two, two, right two fifty. <laughs> Kevin is the one that Linda tried. Okay, so Linda tried to change <laughs> Ava into Linda. So do yeah. I need to call it Linda tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you, girl. <laughs> okay, see, I've got, I'm, I'm trying to make y'all understand that now Ava is getting sick and tired be of standing in the well with these <laughs> fake smiles, yeah, made it and in her mind she's mm-hmm. crushing and everything. Mm-hmm. 
Come on, y'all. Show y'all fake smile. Uh, y'all show y'all fake smile. Oh, smirk. Yeah, y'all smirk it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> and she's. <laughs> and she might come unglued. She and her boyfriend, Kevin, have been seriously dating mm. for six months. Wow. At the marriage. What she do? Married ripe age. Ooh. Oh, at the. I thought it was saying rip. <laughs> I was get. I was gonna get down and dirt. She done ripped some off. Okay, she and her. Okay, wait a minute. At the marriage right age of thirty, she's thirty one. Most women start complaining at twenty five if they don't get right. married. They do. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah. You have, they call them old maids. Twenty four. That's right. They call uh, I've always had the twenty five. I didn't know yeah. that either. Old, old maid. maid know that if you didn't get married before twenty five. Right. But she's from Nebraska, that. girl. They probably still no. forming. Cindy, you from Nebraska? <laughs> I didn't know 25 was, was Yeah, it's considered Me either. Old maid. You didn't, what age did you think was considered old maid? I thought 30s. 30s? Yeah, I didn't. Oh, okay. Too. Really? You thought 32? Yeah, I never thought 25. Oh, but see, that was in Kildare, Texas. See, that was in Kildare, Arkansas. Yeah, I'm a city girl. You feel Arkansas. Arkansas. Girls go to school and all that. Well, I guess about that time you was out of school, though. Yeah, you out of college around that age if they went to college. Then they want to get married at 25 and start their family. By 30, they ready to divorce them. Right. (laughs) Divorce them and the kids. Throw all of them out. Right. Okay, so she says here, at the ripe age... (laughs) 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 At the ripe age of 31, she can't help but count down the days until her wedding day. Oh. So I guess she's been proposed to in this one. Oh, we got to read that. She has got proposed. a vision she just, board. She just, she just got a vision board. So this is so Ava is like this. this Ava is a like the type of person that's been in everybody wedding <laughs> and she can't get married herself. Right. What's so that? Yeah, always a bride said, made, not being at the altar. Like so it's, it's a double meaning on this one. Okay. Yes, going to the altar, needing prayer, needing help, but okay. also standing at the altar with that fake smile. Oh, good. I feel relieved now. That's a good. I feel a little bit relieved. I thought they were coming to the altar. To repent. Yeah. Okay. So this is coming to the altar to get married. Yeah. Okay. Your yeah, that's a good twist. Ahead. That's a good twist. Okay. So she's up there was, being yeah, the best yeah, woman, or what is the maid of honor? What they call? Yeah. I've been married so long, I forgot. What she probably was a bride. Bride, bride, maid of honor, or the maid of honor. Okay. See, I didn't been married so long, I forgot. Huh? Don't know who's fiance she slept with. Don't know where they put her. What? What you say, Kim? It I wasn't her it's best pen- friend. No, I'm was just messing up. It's depending on where Ava. You said maid of honor. Oh, where she, she put, put it? Yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> might be a bridesmaid. <laughs> right. Because she probably heard like she slept with her own fiance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, is Renee still <laughs> in this picture? Are they still yeah, best friends in friends, this book? But she never found out she was messing with her husband. Oh, yeah, she finds out. Oh, in that one. Okay. Y'all got to read this one to find out what happened to Renee and, and uh, Ava. And that, that's in part one. Ishmael, rather. Ish, okay. It seems like everyone in her immediate world is getting hitched but her. Mm. Cousin, friends, and even a co-worker who is shacking up while Ava's trying to live life on the straight and narrow. Girl, you can write some books. Oh, thank you. I think you looked at me like that. Ooh, you can write some books, girl. Before, I can I see this in a thank movie. You. I, I can I can see this here in a movie. I tell you, girl, I, my I can, mind is just going. And I can see her smirk standing there at the, at the me office. Too. Like, me too. Me too. Me too. Right. Mm, what the hell? I can't get married. Mm, I'm yes. tired of being in these darn weddings. Yeah. Everybody get married except for me. And I got a yeah. smile. And then I got to. Watch her throw that darn flower out there to somebody. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of this blank to blank to blank. Ooh, I can I, I can relate mm-hmm. to you, Ava. Kevin is the man of her dreams, but his mother doesn't believe Ava Uh-oh. is the woman of his. Oh Lord. Ooh, and I always have to be. I better be quiet because I, I got two sons, <laughs> and I don't know. I better be quiet now. I don't want to be uh, Kevin's mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, my sons, I hope they listening to this. I don't want to be uh, Kevin's mother. <laughs> but his mother doesn't believe Ava is the woman of his. Two of his sisters seem to be on the same page. Oh, man. Now it's a family affair. Oh, oh, my oh, my Lord. Two of his sisters seem to be on the same page with their mother, treated her like an outcast every chance they get. You know, I'll be ready to kick their tails. 
<laughs> y'all know y'all would. Come on now. Yes. Or you'll yes. walk just like yes. Kimberly said, walk in like you don't give a damn. <laughs> That's right. And making them mad. Yeah. Ain't the only mm. alley in Kevin's world is his baby sister. That's Kevin's baby sister. Yeah. That's the only okay. her only ally. Okay, so Kevin, baby's sister, likes her. Mm -hmm. Okay, tweet. That's her name. Her tweet, name is Tweet. Tweet, <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. <laughs> okay, so she, Kevin does have somebody in his corner. The baby sister, Tweet. Sound Wait like a, a drug, <laughs> A drug addict who takes up a lot of his time. No wonder, because he probably. Oh, she's an addict? She's a yeah, drug addict. So drug that's the reason why she's tweet. in it, because Kevin is buying her drugs. Mm -hmm. No, remember, remember oh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, Kevin is a drug the counselor. drug counselor. counselor. Right. But he's Tweet is on drugs, right? Yeah, but he's not buying her drugs. He's trying to help her. She's How just old is Tweet? Tweet's like in her 20s and her oh, early okay. 20s. Yeah, okay, so Tweet sister. is bold to be going around a drug counselor <laughs> and she's a drug <laughs> addict. So is he but trying to her counsel brother. her too? When she get, well, he's trying to help her. He, he feels a certain responsibility. Because he got her into it when they were younger. Okay, so that's so the reason said, why. Yeah. Oh, but that's because okay. he's in the that's, neighborhood. That's, that's his, his sister. sister. That's his baby sister. sister. Yeah. So he that he like got into fault. the drugs and now. Mm -hmm. Was he and on drugs he, too? Mm -hmm. Okay, he was on drugs and then. Oh, okay. You know, that's interesting because now he's a drug counselor. Mm -hmm. And that's good because he can deal with the experience. Right. Mm -hmm. He's been there, done that, so he can help. Other drug people. Because look, man, hey, I've been there. I've been right. on drugs. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like about being a Christian. We all have sinned, and we can mm -hmm. all tell somebody about how we got out of it. Right. As they say, been there, done been that. Been there, done that. I got a T-shirt. That what T.D. <laughs> yeah. Jake said. Pastor Jake proven. says that. Okay, so now, trusting God in all, Ava can do as she hopes for the best. But if Ava and Kevin are meant for each other, then why is it such a struggle to get down the aisle? What's wrong with Ava? What's wrong with Kevin? Or is Kevin's mother the one <laughs> calling the shots? Oh, y'all going to have to read part two of a uh, permanent resident at the altar. And maybe you will see yourself in this book. You've been here standing going through all these weddings and nobody have asked you and you get fed up. You cussing her under your tongue. You mad. But I really thought it would be an altar of repentance, but I'm I glad it's a wedding. I, oh I did. I, love the I was going to go to the altar right now. Yes, yes. Always <laughs> crying at the altar. <laughs> I tell you, Keisha, tell us, how did, how, what inspired you to write these books? I, I've just always have loved writing. I just, and let's see, my mom passed when I was 12, about to be 13. Mm -hmm. and when that happened, I started writing poetry. Oh, and then okay. when I got to high school, English was my favorite subject. Ooh. And I missed, I know. Oh, <laughs> I liked, I really liked math, but I wasn't really good I, I like math. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck uh, with English in the, in the right. letters. But then when I got, I took a college uh, fiction class, mm. writing short stories. Wow. And that was it for me. I was right. been doing it ever since. Uh, so mm, I wrote my wow. So let me ask oh you God. this, Keisha. Is any of you in these books? Oh, yes, definitely. I've definitely have felt every emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. that That's really why through. you can feel the I, anointing in that book. Because right. you put passion in it. I mean, don't y'all think so? Just reading the yes. intro make you want to read this book. Yeah. Right. I'm finna end the show so I can go read the book. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I definitely have felt I haven't done anything good because I was reading uh, the first one to one of my honors class at school. And they were they want to know did you do this? Did yeah, you know? I have not done everything, Thank experience, you. but I've definitely experienced every emotion okay. that she has, so I can speak. And I definitely the insecurities situation yes. there, and I, that's why I wanted to read the mm -hmm. um, inscription to. Okay, go ahead. Real uh -huh. quick. Just we are talking. These about are some good season. books, I tell you. I hate you left some at home, but that's okay. Well, we got look, you. We got you in the building because of the. It says, to, <laughs> this is the dedication and this is okay. the purpose. Okay. To the women of the world who see themselves as less than, know you are fearfully and wonderfully made and perfect in God's eyes, the only eyes that matter. Oh, and wow. that's sweet. Oh. And, so and that's, that is so true. The only eyes is God's eyes, how he see you. Right. And then another thing to add to that, because boy, our time is almost up. Yeah. But anyway, Keisha, to add to that, I'm glad you brought the books. I'm glad that uh, right. you brought out the insecurity because a lot of women out there in Facebook and YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of insecurity some days. And till you realize and love yourself and know that God wonderfully built you the way you should be. Can't nobody be a Keisha Bass but you. 
you. Okay. Right. I can try to be you, but I can't be you. Okay. Right. And you definitely don't want to be a, a Elma. I tell you, this woman here, I, I can't do I can't I can't even handle this woman myself. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of women need to understand that. Love yourself first. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. Love yourself first. Mm -hmm. And don't let anybody, I don't care what size you are, somebody love your size. They do. Oh, yes, know they do. Her Lizzo, yes. was that her name? The one oh, she, yeah, Lizzo. She, yeah, she changed the game. Yeah, she, she did. changed the game. I mean, she proud of herself. And right. She's pretty. Yes, mm -hmm. Lizzo is beautiful. Yeah, she's she a real is. girl. And she has a lot of confidence. I don't think she got she, to do all the stuff she can Right, right. I do like all that. The outfits. At some point, you get fed up with people talking about whether or not you got hair damage, whether your butt's too big, or this is big. Uh-huh. And I think that's what she's saying, because exactly. Amber Rose kind of does the same thing. Mm -hmm. You just get tired of people. You want to put me in a box because you don't like that I have hail damage or sell you. Oh, I just realized I, what my, you meant, hail damage. <laughs> <laughs> She's still over here thinking about the drug counseling in the book. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you have all this, they call it hail damage. Well, stand up and let like, us see all of that. Come on, stand up, Ken. Let us see you. Go on, Gary. Look at all that. Look at all that, y'all. Ain't that fine? Tell me about it. Here. Tell me about it. Oh, and like you can it. even read her, too. <laughs> she got on stuff that you can read. It's too cute. You and I know? think that women are coming out of that. Yes, they are. Yes. We're tired of you talking about and making me feel like I have to hide this because you don't like it. But they probably want it, Kim. But well, they do Don't want it. And that's why Lizzo is doing what she's doing and Amber's doing what she's doing because so many women have spent their life hiding right. because somebody doesn't what? Like your size. Right. Oh, your face is beautiful, but your size is this. Oh, right. you got a gap. Yeah. Oh, you know, your feet, your pigeon toes. Oh, you bow legged. Oh, yeah. yeah right. you know? Stupid stuff. Everybody worry about everybody else. Well, Marilyn Monroe was a size 14. People don't even know that. It's the way yeah, that she, she wore her clothes. clothes. Mm -hmm. And yes. so my people thought she was a lot smaller, but she was a size 14 and she was yeah. considered who, one of the yeah. most beautiful women. And who is this imaginary person that's always making us be something that we can't even enjoy who we are because mm -hmm. someone's because always allow critical to. fault finding and judgmental right. about mm -hmm. us. Right. And I think that's right. why Liz does what she does. Let me just throw this in your face because I'm tired of this. And Amber Rose, let me just throw this in your face. You're going to talk about me no matter what. Bam. Right. Yeah, yeah they may have hand on the board, but you can yeah. tell that. She took the power away. Take and all the these women away. are hiding mm -hmm. in their beautiful women, and they have yes. so much to offer in life. Yes. But because somebody is spending all their time looking at these little women that look like sticks and stones. Uh huh. <laughs> You're right. And they that's true. It. <laughs> but you know, now they have a lot of uh, thick women that's what models now. Yes, they are. And right. they are they sure beautiful. Do. They yes, are. They and, are. and they have clothes that fit them and make them look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so nothing we are wonderfully us. made that's by true. God. Yes, mm -hmm. fearfully and wonderfully made. <laughs> and that's the thing you got to look at. I love me. I'm not here for you. That was a time when I did and I let people rule me. Yes. And, and took thoughts. my makeup yes. off and took my wig. See, yes. I, I changed my wigs. Yes. And I yes. love changing my yes. wigs. <laughs> and, and I don't do it, you know, for, I do it because I want to. to do. Yes. Yes, I, yes, I have yes. hair. Yes. 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 But I just want to change my wig. Uh, Cynthia was talking about, you change your wig? Yes. About three or four, I, I can share. Yes. When they said, yeah. oh, your hair is beautiful, I said, you can borrow it. Yes. They said, what? I said, you can borrow it. You want me to take it off and give it to you? But you have to learn to love, love yourself. yourself. Just God the way you are. God created you to be you. He Just broke the, way the mold. You are. Just Can't the way nobody you are. do it like you. And right. women, we want to encourage you. Right. Be yes, you. Right. Yes. And love you. Don't ever criticize yourself. Yes. Just compliment yourself. Yes. Get in the mirror and say, you know what, girl? <laughs> we going to make it today. Yes. What's up, Kirkwood? What's That's out it. there, girl? You That's got it. it. What wig you going to wear today? <laughs> yes, okay. But back to the, the thing. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> got excited. I got excited. Pastor, you still going to rap. Oh, go ahead and rap, girl. You need this girl can rap. Go rap we got a few minutes before, and, and I didn't know Keisha right could rap. Keisha. You gonna go right there, Keisha? Come on, you gotta get up, Keisha. Can I? Yeah, where your phone? Where your phone at, babe? Okay. You need some music. Okay. 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 <laughs> You can be oh, right here. Right 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 you can be right black spot. Right no, okay, do yeah, it okay. right I'm going to be your backup oh, rapper, so I need you Oh, right she going to do it. Oh, Kim want to dance. Okay, go <laughs> ahead, Kim. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Come, Come on. on. So this is Come a song on. Uh, for the kids to okay. knock out bullying. So, okay. okay. No bullies. No bullies. Going to take go that mess on somewhere else. No bullies. No bullies. Respect other people and yourself. I said, be you, L-L-Y. Don't be a bully. Got to be a nice guy. What you going to do? Well, I'm going to be cool. 
with everybody in this school. I got no time for drama, pushing others around. Let something like that around me go down. Man, Woo! you must be crazy because I'm here to learn. <laughs> Trouble come my way. The go other cheek, I'm going to turn. I said, now bullying is a word that go you don't want to use. Got go. nothing to gain, everything to lose. Go. Find yourself a CSC or sitting in ISS when you can be in class doing your best. Just treat people how you want to be treated. Be there for one another when a friend is needed. Let the petty stuff go. Man, you know how to act and someday somebody will have your back. Huh? No, no, no bully. bully. No, no bully's bully. gonna take that no <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> no bully. No, no bully. Yes. Respect other people and yourself. Go oh, hey. 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 All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know my son back there. I love that guy. He loves rapping and everything. All right. All right. Tell me what we got to do at this I like that. Ain't nobody going to bully me. No bullies. No bullies. No bullies. No bullies. Not only she's a good author, she's a rapper. What else do you do, Geisha? Pastor, hmm. what's your son's name? I can't hang a teacher. Huh? What's your son's name? Darius. Darius, you the rap. Darius, love rap. Hey, Darius. I love to hear that Darius rap. Darius, love rap. rap. You know he going to love that. He loves rap. Any writing, music, anything, I, I just love doing it. And working with so kids. Good. And so wow. I'm, my next thing I'm working on now is the bully prevention organization. To well, we're going to have you back on the show to talk about bullying. Because kids are being bullied. Give it up for Keisha, y'all. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. All right, Linda, what, what you have, uh, Linda? Your family, uh, who's all in telling your family? I mean, are you married? Do you have any kids? Or I, It is me and my fur baby. Okay. <laughs> my fur baby. What's a fur baby? A, a dog. A dog. Oh. Cowboy. I and I heard about in the, a all, my immediate, <laughs> all my immediate family is here. Like, my dad lives here. Okay. And then I have a brother, a sister-in-law, and they have six kids. And then my Ooh. sister and brother-in-law, they have two babies. Okay, oh, so okay. you're single. So I'm single. So okay, Keisha is single. Keisha is single. I'm with you there. No we look bully. Kevin. No, no bully. bully. <laughs> Keisha is no single. Bully. And no she can bully. rap. And she yes. can yes. ride. She can ride. Sing them on, Lord. She can ride. She works in true she kids. Wanted, she's Look, she works in true kids. Man that God is preparing Amen. for Keisha. Amen. Keisha, we are so happy. You have been oh, such a joy. Amen. Don't forget you so much. Holy book up, Keisha. The book is called Permanent Resident at the Purse table this is yes part one you gotta read that oh one. what about your facebook page too and then okay. the other one is permanent resident at the altar okay. and i think you're writing another one Later uh, on or yes, what? I may. I'm trying to decide straight to script or another book. Okay. So that's why I'm in the. But it will be uh, about Doctor Glory Life and the okay. third kind of. Okay, off. when is your movie coming out? Um, that's in development right now. So okay. I'm only talking to the producer. Okay, Let's good. speak it out. Be we praying. We're gonna speak it out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, he's Amen. On, yes. yes. Attaching talent to it right now, and, and we to definitely gonna have you back on. Ooh, that's gonna be yes. down there. Can we find you on Keep Facebook or Instagram yeah, uh, my or Facebook Twitter? Is Keisha Bass Writer. W R I T E R. And then my um, website is KeishaTBass.com. And you can see her web. She has a beautiful website. She has a motivational saying on there. I like that. I am happy. She got all that on there, those cute little sayings on her website. Give that website again KeishaTBass.com. Okay. Are you getting to the Bass Brothers? No, the ritual. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to rub some more, baby. Give me some of that. I heard that. But we thank you, Keisha. Before we close, what would you tell our audience? Uh, anything would you want to leave with them? Um, the best thing I could probably do right now, because with what I'm going through, is what you said about self-esteem or loving yourself and being who you are. It is a process. It is. Absolutely. It is yes. a process. There's going to be times when you're not going to feel like. That's right. Being you are loving yourself. Right. And, you know, so it is a process. Be patient with yourself. I'm learning that right now. So I just, this has just been awesome. Y'all have just <laughs> spoken to me. Shout out to your dad, you. family member. Shout best out friend. to my dad, my friend, my Word of Truth family. Word of Truth. My, my, yes. my uh, Walks and Hatcher ISD people. I yes. know my student, he wants to look. So <laughs> just shout out to everybody. All my family in Houston. This is awesome. And your new family here. My new yes. family new here. Family. Yes. Oh, we're going to have Keisha back on here so she can write. Keisha's not going to say church. And I was so nervous. And you don't have to be nervous. You don't have to be nervous on a talk show, girl. Oh, no. I love it. This is awesome. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Keisha, for being on the show. Yes. Uh, we appreciate you coming. We're going to have to yes, have you on Sister you. Chat one time with us so you can chat yes. with us and, and everything. We want all women out there to look in the mirror and say, I am B.
beautiful. Yes. Tell yourself that every day. I am beautiful. Yes. And you know what you're doing? You're speaking life to you. You are speaking into your spirit that you yes. are beautiful. And before you know it, girl, you'll be changing your wigs. You will be dressing just like Kimberly. You will be shouting <laughs> just like Linda. And you will be up here acting like Cynthia. And then it all head. come down to... We got the clothes right now. But yeah, we'll see you Monday. next Monday. <laughs> I was trying to get a little sermon in there, you know. <laughs> you did. <laughs> All right, up right. here. But anyway, we have fun on the Talk of Life Talk Show. Yes. Again, if you would like to be on the show, go to vendor.info slash Elma Talk Show. And we would love to have you to be a part of our show. We would love to have you to be a part of Sister Chat. Yes. And also, we're going to implement into this behind the scenes with the Talk of Life Talk Show with Carlos asking us the questions about who we are, girls. So get ready yes. for that. That's going to be another segment that's going to start airing on the Talk of Life talk show with Elma. May God bless you and keep you again. Thank you, Keisha, for being yes. a part. Thank Give it up Keisha. for Keisha. Keisha. Until next Monday, 8 p.m., Facebook or YouTube. Shout out to Carlos and to my son, Emmanuel. We love you. 